Good morning and welcome to my new tutorial video. We are on early access version 0565 and it's the Gamrays Deep early access for community testing. We sign in with my wife's account so we can actually see a bit more than on my own account because I am stuck there with a lot of stuff to do and video. Okay, here we are. This is in German, so we first need to change the settings. Um, this is our daily login bonus. We claim it right now. And we got 100 gems. We have daily missions, but first we need to change the languages. We have in the settings left side uh, English, German, Tagalog, Spanish, Russian, Italian, French to choose, and it's directly changed. Uh, you can change sound on and off. Let's have some sound here so it's not that boring um, the bug report button the little bug icon there Twitter and discord we will first do a little campaign let's get started different town buildings this is the arena uh, here you will find mighty op op opponents um, she is too fast oh my god this is the mine the deeper you go, the more rewards you will get. Let's go to the underworld. It will be challenging. This is the event portal. Event portal isn't active at the moment. It's only uh, activated in at events. Like last Halloween event or Christmas event. Here's a little present. What did What did you give me? I didn't notice um yeah then let's work on what she said we have here the arena in the arena you gather chests like this I just claimed a green chest a green chest a red chest and a blue chest the blue chest opens for three hours the red chest for 12 hours and the green chest for six hours you click it and then you can get rewards. The rewards can be NFTs since this update. It's great. Um, some rares, some uncommons, and as higher you climb in the leeches, you get better drop rate on the NFTs. So, better hurry up and get high leech. Uh, if you search for an op opponent, you get to match one opponent that is 350 trophies below or above you. And three levels maximum below or above you. If you match someone while being in silver that is gold, and you win against the him, you get three trophies. And if you lose against him, you just lose one trophy. If you fight against a silver guy, you win or lose two trophies. If you fight against a bronze guy, you either lose three trophies or win one trophy. This is kind of Elo style. Oh, let's see how it works out. I have no idea to be honest. In the ranking, there will be ranking rewards that will be probably distributed to like top 3 or 1, 2, 3 and top 10, top 50 whatsoever. They did reward like top 200 in the past. Maybe that's what's happening. End of season rewards. I think this three chests is a placeholder since all of them get the same but 
I'm so curious what's coming there. Let's for the arena. Then she told us about the mine. In the mine we can go in and gather currencies. The currencies are uh, very important right now because you need them to upgrade your heroes and unlock your heroes. We are finishing daily missions right now. I will tell you more about it in a second. But first the mine. In the mine they have a new system. As deeper you go in one turn in one try, the more uh, rewards you get. That means if you succeed from level 1 to 15 in one try you get enormous amounts of currencies if you just go one level by one level like first and second and third and then you quit and the next time you do three levels again then you get fewer reward than just going straight to six um, yeah I have given you already a mine uh, a mine tutorial that still is viable. Underworld, in the underworld, you get first clear bonus of 1000 XP, one, uh, 10 gems, and 10 runes. Every level needs orbs to unlock. Orbs are dropped in arena chests. As high as the chest, as better the drop rate. First time clear reward and these are puzzle levels that means you need to you need to move and hit to solve these puzzles puzzles and get great rewards i really like that and it gives you overall a good understanding of the possibilities in the game I think it's great so what's actually new in this update the campaign account settings go to your profile okay let's go to our profile this is my profile screen here you can link your wallet and redeem codes yeah true welcome night let's go welcome night this is my player ID now close your profile why I wanted to show you the redeem code welcome night welcome night try and yeah we probably got something because it didn't give us an error message we can change our profile pic with clicking this little scroll uh, we have the XP the VIP the VIP I gave you a little uh, a little insight already in one of my previous videos um, this account is on VIP 3 and yeah not that bad wallet connect here you already connected the engine wallet and here you can connect with Wallet Connect, MetaMask or Trust Wallet. We will try MetaMask Wallet and let's see if it already works with first try or if we would need to restart and do this another time. I think we need to restart and do an extra video for Wallet connect because it doesn't want me to. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Last try. If it doesn't work, this will be postponed. Now nothing works. Great. Yeah. If it would work, you could. After that, sign the wallet 
the button would be green and then you could wallet transfer wallet transferring the NFTs you dropped already in the game with a transfer potion on the wallet you get more VIP points even so now go to your achievements page here you find achievements progress yeah achievements are great achievements give several currencies and VIP points like the arena and personal achievements give VIP points these are great I really recommend to do them and I for myself would try to get all the daily bonus for fighting the mine complete an adventure fight in the arena drink one dragon potion complete one town quest we will see town quests town quests is clicking a quest and waiting for the timer to run down every quest can be skipped by 30 minutes if you watch an ad all the stuff resets at zero UTC server time daily quests are great too you can get a lot of experience and currencies out of this consume food win arena matches just great same for weeklies you can fight bosses great finish dailies enhance an item to plus three use 1440 food that's good too you can do that in a week 1685 is challenging and for 2000 you need to top up some gems to food um mine we had arena we had campaign and what are we right now you can always have a look settings visit the settings screen you can follow us on twitter yeah yeah i am already doing that have fun okay what what happened we succeeded um, okay then the ranking the ranking is now up to top 100 that's pretty great and you don't even need to play that much to get into top 100 level 13 that's three months dedicated or just buy some stuff from the new exchange like daily packages why doesn't it show that's weird packages like account rename uh, double nft rate double experience rate um, just the normal gems and in the exchange you can change the, the gems to gold runes you can watch the dragon meat uh, dragon potion ad we will just do it oh a short video perfect for our tutorial you watch that video and get 10 additional food to go you can also buy boss keys pickaxes for going into mine again and yeah that's it boss the boss will reset in three hours if you have zero keys then after 24 hours with zero, zero keys you get one key airdrop for free always use your key in a boss so you get at least the token for that and some additional rewards maybe for top thousand because we m should have a lot of players right now mm, ready for the boss in three, three hours marketplace is still under the development but you can sell your items at open sea um settings news in the news we have the current patch information the vip points the vip points give you really great 
Uh, bonuses, try to reach as high as you can. VIP 15 gives 20 gold increase, 20% XP, 7 transfer potions per month, 20% increased NFT drop rate, 20% discount on NFTs. That means for the boss token you need to pay 20% fewer. That's really, really great. Speed up chest opening by 20%. Good too, and increase dragon meat re regeneration by 20%. That's definitely worth two. Achievements we had a forge in the forge, you can just merge your stuff. Yeah, heroes, you have the starter heroes Paladin, Forest Knight, and Barbarian on level one, and you can unlock. Heroes for gems or golden runes now That will take a while if you start with zero. I for myself was able to unlock the assassin and the Arcanist already so She got the NFT from adventure map 22 the minibus 2 eternal water it's great armory you show all the all the uh, stuff you have in the storage in the equipped stuff you show what you equip them and in the showroom you can see all the nfts you can currently drop in the game so we had arena town shop town shop sure weapons for gold and gems rings for gems and gold i recommend two royal rings these ones two of them and two of them vision necklace for gems too that's two thousand gems i think it's worth it and these items are nfts for boss token and these items are uh, virtual items for boss token. As I said, I recommend one Fiend amulet, one Fiend ring, and two royal ring, two vision necklace for starter. And with that, you should be set for great NFT farming. Um, this account is pretty old. That's why he has a lot of a lot of um and stuff and different items and then I would recommend right now but yeah underworld team in the team you can choose your team composition uh, heroes already quests exchange skins in the skins you can see the skins you own that's the Christmas event and a PvP event before that for Halloween. And in the lexicon, all NFT skins that exist in the game are displayed. I am really curious about this one. It looks great. I want it. Uh, let's go to the adventure. I think that's the last point of our journey. So, first... Normal levels give virtual items. Virtual items have a drop rate of 20%. If you are already 5% more, more XP, then this guy gives 26 XP. So, the virtual item purple shield has a drop rate of 20%, as I said, and this. Beautiful NFT, Shagrim, has a drop rate of below 1%. I actually don't know how much percent it really has, but we will see, I guess. And I am really curious if you did some research on that. Tell me. 80 XP. So, they increased the XP for level 11, the miniboss 1. With the NFT drop, and it gives 80 XP. With the NF uh, with the experience boost of 5%, it's already 84. 
every time you reach the last level of a region, forest region, desert region, magma region, ice region, uh, I don't know, lonely land reason, uh, region, and Gamry's region, you have the opportunity to farm an NFT with a mini boss. This is a rare and NFT, Zuldux the Devourer, for which this is an uncommon ring, Ring of Urgul for every hero. Miniboss 4 has the Manta Necklace, uncommon amulet for all heroes. This guy, oh, one drop, that's great. Last time I have looked, it was full still. Great Famulus Dagger. A good uncommon dagger for assassin miniboss eternal water um, for arcanist tome uncommon obviously and chagrim for assassin uncommon nft2 did i show you this yeah already but I, let's go again um so you probably want to reach as high as you can, as fast as you can, because the halving might tick in. That means the good items could go pretty fast. Um, yeah, we have received some chests. If you open them, you get currencies. Looks fine getting spammed Ooh, thousand gold that's good and now we're already done yeah um want to go for another boss to see how you can do it with the arcanist you really need the arcanist to do this because the arcanist can always shield your heroes like this, I can shield them, and on the same time, they never deal it, uh, take damage. You see what I mean? Just keep in the pattern to shield everyone, then you can just kill them, because that thing is OP. <laughs> the Akron is obviously. Yeah, the Barbarian is strong too. As you can see, the stun really works out well. Um, sadly, I did pretty bad positioning for this level, didn't thought about it, but it's done. And 95 XP is really great. Overall, the XP rate is much better now. And this means it's easy to climb. You would get like two and a half uh m two and a half time more xp than before i think um i think we are done right did i tell you about everything if not drop me a message below the video and i will try to give you more insights uh, if you have any questions about the game just ask me or join telegram discord in-game chat i would really love to have you see you next time ring the bell subscribe always be up to date bye bye